Hey folks, Sean here from visibledark.ca. Thank you for tuning in. Today's video, we're going to look at two things. We're first of all going to install the optional electronic focuser that is available for the Radian Raptor 61 telescope. We are also going to look at, real quick, the back focus requirements for this telescope and how to arrive at the proper back focus. So let's get over to the work table and we'll have a look. So this is the Radian Raptor 61. It's an F4.5 optical system, uh, 275 millimeters, I believe it is. And uh, right now I've got the, um, it's using, it has, it comes with a uh, reducer that is um, inserted here. Uh, so you don't have to get a separate uh, field flattener or reducer for the telescope, it comes with it. The other uh, thing I've got going on here is I've got it uh, connected to my uh, QHY 268C camera. This is a cooled CMOS. So uh, we'll get into talking about that in a little bit. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do though is uh, just show you how to install this um, electronic focuser that is available for the Radian Raptor 61. And uh, it allows you to uh, control the uh, focusing with the uh, computer then. So um, this is a very nice, nicely crafted scope. It, uh, it looks nice, first of all, but uh, it uh, performs well. So we've got, uh, that's the uh, 61 millimeters of aperture. Nice triplet design. Set this down gently. So let's have a look here. Um, first of all, I'll just turn this ever so slightly because we're going to be putting the electronic focuser on the fine focus knob. Um, it is designed to go on the fine focus knob. It is not designed to go on the coarse knob on the other side. So let's just open this up, have a look what's inside. So as it comes, we got some instructions some instructions as to how to install the focus the electronic focuser uh, it looks it's fairly straightforward that isn't anything uh, it's not rocket science that's for sure so let's just set that aside and see what else we've got here so this is the focus unit <coughs> itself the electronic focuser and if I'm not mistaken it's made by Optech so uh, there it is there Radian electronic focuser uh, made by Optech and um, we're going to install that onto the fine focus knob here uh, just having a quick look what else comes with it we've got a uh, USB cable for power for the uh, electronic focuser in the box and we've also got the USB cable um, to attach to the uh, computer so that we can communicate with the electronic focuser. So we'll just put these aside for now. I'll just put it over here with the paperwork. And it comes with some Allen keys, hex wrenches, whatever you want to call them. And we'll use that to take the uh, knobs off the uh, focuser on the telescope. So let me just get this opened and then we will proceed. Okay, so we've got three Allen wrenches here and we are going to use the first one. We're gonna use one to take off this knob right here uh, to start. So we're just going to insert the Allen key and we will loosen back the screw. So that comes off very easily no problems there. The next thing we want to do is we are going to want to take off this knob as well. I'm just going to back that off for a second. So there it is there. So we'll take that one off as well. And I think it's a different size. So we'll just, oh no, it's the same size. That's good. Okay. I was wondering if it was going to be a different size, but it isn't. So this should just slide off then, as it did. 
Okay, we'll put that to the side. <clears throat> and now we will install the electronic focuser. And it looks like there's only one screw to tighten this down with, so pretty straightforward. Just make sure it's loose there. Okay, and then we're going to install this onto our focuser. Just like so. Pretty straightforward to do. And then we're going to want to tighten up that screw there. I'll just do that real quick. Get this locked into place. Okay, and that is all it takes to install this focuser onto the uh, Raptor 61, as we can see here. So the nice thing about this focuser unit is it's very easy to install, as we can see. It took no time at all to install. Um, it also has a locking mechanism on it. So when it's engaged, when the lock is engaged, this doesn't turn now. It's completely locked and the focusing, electronic focuser will do the uh, the uh, fine tuning of the uh, focus on the telescope for you. When this is disengaged, when the lock is disengaged, you then have the ability to manually focus if you need to. That's a, a really nice feature. Okay, so now we've got our focusing unit installed and we just have to uh, set it up on the uh, computer, load the drivers and uh, set it up in Nina so that uh, this electronic focuser is used. Uh, when we do our imaging. Okay, so then the other thing that we'll talk about in this video is the back focus requirements for the Raptor 61. The uh, back focus requirement for the Raptor 61 is 55 millimeters, and that is 55 millimeters from the rear of the optical train to the camera sensor. In this case here, I'm using the QHY268C cooled CMOS camera. The sensor on this camera is 17 and a half millimeters deep. So we need to account for that and we need to use some spacers and adapters in order to reach our 55 millimeters. So what I've got here is I've used the um, nose piece that comes with the camera. It's 32 and a half millimeters long plus the 17 and a half millimeters deep for the sensor, that gives us 50 millimeters. So I needed five millimeters more in order to reach the 55. And that's what this ring here is for. It's actually an inverter, an M48 inverter. So it um, converts from an M48 uh, female to an M48 male, allows me to attach the nose piece to the ring and the ring to the telescope. And it gives me the five millimeters that I need. It's five millimeters, exactly. So that is the 55 millimeters, and you're gonna need that. That's the back focus requirement, no matter what camera you're using. Um, but depending on the depth of your sensor, you're gonna need different adapters or spacers in here in order to um, achieve that 55 millimeters. But back focus is not that complicated. My Esprit 100, so just something to keep in mind when you're uh, getting your Raptor 61 all set up and ready for imaging, that you're gonna need that 55 millimeters of backspacing, back focus uh, on it for the camera. If you're attaching a DSLR to the Raptor, it's very simple to achieve. Uh, that, that's easy enough and uh, you can you know get that up and going real fast. When you're dealing with a dedicated astronomy camera though, such as this QHY camera, um, you will undoubtedly uh, need to come up with some adapters and spacers in order to make this happen, to make the connections fit and uh, get you that 55 millimeters. So not rocket science, pretty easy to do. I've had a lot of people that have emailed about the back focus and questioning what their back focus requirements are, uh, confused by the literature on it. And ultimately it is very straightforward. So there you have it. We've got everything set up. This is ready to go. I have the camera connected to the Radian Raptor 61. I've got the electronic focuser connected now. So very simple connection uh, installation for that electronic focuser. You should have no problems at all. Uh, literally 
uh, three screws, two to uh, untighten and remove the knobs and one to uh, tighten down the electronic focuser onto the uh, focusing uh, unit of the uh, telescope. Okay, so thanks very much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, and you enjoyed this video or any of my other videos, please consider subscribing. Uh, don't forget to like and hope you're getting some clear skies. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.